I'm at Sage Ranch. And I thought I'd fill you in on a few things. Uh, yesterday was a very commotional day for me here in Los Angeles. And all last night, all through the night, and I checked spaceweather.com and the funny thing is, uh, it seems like there have been no solar flares, no special sky activity and like that. Uh, some smaller flares, sea range flares. And um, I got to thinking um, that, that maybe what's happening is that because the electromagnetic field of Earth is, is lower now, um, apparently what's happened is there haven't been as many uh, flares, solar flares, as anticipated as we move out of the solar maximum and on. And uh, so the electromagnetic field of Earth is, is somewhat uh, less strong than it usually is. And so I wonder if these, these smaller flares are, because of that, are affecting us some and clearing us, clearing our energy field. So that's just my thought for today here in the beautiful golden sunlight of the afternoon. I, I feel like the divine has a way of figuring out everything down to the smallest decimal point and just exactly what we need to change, you know, without freaking out too much for all of humanity to move upward. <laughs> and so that's my feeling about all this, this um, up and down activity that's been taking place, this purifying uh, energy process and this the new incoming light that's just flooding everywhere. It's not just a flood. It's a very controlled, like, um, pouring in. The divine is very intelligent. Even the smallest photons, light is intelligent and full of love for, for all living things. And the more I, I feel it and observe it, the more I realize this to be true. We're not living beings in a, a non-sentient universe. The whole universe is sentient, you know, and it knows what to do. It knows what's best for us. So what's the point of worry and, and being upset when everything is all arranged for us? So especially when worry and anxiety and fear and anger, upset or clearing from the aura, it's important to remember that. It, it really helps a lot because if we, if we stuff down all those negative feelings when we would feel them and say, well, I can't be feeling that, you know, I'm a spiritual person or whatever it is that we feel about it. It's an unpleasant sensation. I, ref I refuse to feel it. And whatever we do, then it's still there, stuck in our aura, you know. But if we think that the universe is trying to help us clear and to be happy, as is our birthright, then we won't do that. We'll just observe what's coming up, all the emotions that are coming up, the physical discomfort, you know, and uh, and rejoice that it's it's coming up and it's the love of the universe, the incoming light, are transforming it and changing it to something much closer to what's true and joyful. So. I say this with hindsight because I was kind of upset yesterday, <laughs> but today is beautiful. <laughs> and today's a good day for philosophizing, I guess. <laughs> so, rays of light to you, rays of love, and talk to you later. <laughs>